Hello, welcome back to the Mark Janard Show, the tech show about hacking. In this video, I'm going to go over the nine secret steps to be invisible online. Without further ado, let's get right into it. We're going dark. So is it possible to be completely invisible online? The short answer to that is no, you can't. However, there are steps you can take to mask your online identity, scrub your data and further protect your privacy. Taking action to minimize your digital footprint is one of the best ways to protect yourself online. These are the nine simple steps and strategies you can start using today. Step one, use your passport as an ID. <laughs> this may sound weird, but anytime I am asked to present a form of ID, whether that's in person or if I'm verifying a crypto exchange account, I intentionally share my passport, not my driver's license. Why you say that? Between my passport and my driver's license, the passport has less information about me. Anybody who has a copy of the front of my driver's license knows my full name, my birthday, my height, uh, my eye color, my physical address, and my signature. Uh, with my passport, all they know is my name, birthday, and state where the document was issued. Admittedly, this doesn't make a huge difference in your overall online privacy, but when we string together a lot of these tiny changes, it does have an impact. Step two, hide your home address. Stop giving out your home address to every person and company that asks for it. Most of the time, they don't need your actual home address, and it's entirely possible to use a virtual mailbox to mask your home address. This virtual address can receive both letter mail and packages sending you pictures that you can review on your phone. You then have the option of having the virtual address company scan your mail, forward it, delete it, whatever. Uh, I use a there is a company called Traveling Mailbox that has worked well for the past seven years. With the exception of government agencies and sensitive packages, you can try to use um, this address everywhere. It can be accepted to mask your home address. Step three, mask your home, mask your phone number in a similar way. You should be very picky about who you share your personal mobile phone number with. It's entirely possible to mask your phone number with a virtual number from a service like Hushed or Google Voice. In addition to masking your real phone number, it's also a great way to screen all text and calls through an app on your phone. So how does this work? You, you could buy a lifetime phone number through Hushed that allows you to send and receive text and phone calls without actually giving away your real phone number. If your current number is already overwhelmed with spam, could, uh, you know, with spam could port your phone number over to Google Voice, start over with a new number from your mobile service provider, and then screen everything through the Voice app. Using Hush will cost you $25, but it's super easy to set up. Google Voice, on the other hand, is free, but the process of porting and getting new number is a bit cumbersome. It's up to you. Step four, hide your personal email address. By now, all of us used our personal email address to sign up for so many different services. It almost feels like masking your email address is a lost cause. Thankfully, there are a lot of new services that are popping up to make this very easy. If you have any kind of Apple uh, iCloud subscription, you automatically get to use their hide my email feature. There, there are other standalone services like Fastmail, uh, Anon Addy, or a simple login included in any paid Proton plan that do the same thing for a small fee. Step five, use a virtual credit card, not your real one. There are services like a Revolut International, Clutch, which is US only, Ironvest, and other alternatives to privacy.com that allow you to create virtual credit cards to pay for things online instead of giving away the number on your physical credit card, which is difficult to change or replace. You're creating a new virtual card for every merchant, right? Uh, like for example, you have a card for Netflix that only works for Netflix. You have a card for Amazon that only works for Amazon uh, and has spending limits. Uh, you know, you have to have a specific card for any subscription service so that you have control to be able to pause or close the account with the click of a button. Step six, delete your data online. 
Have you ever done a search on your name on Google? Especially if you Google your name and the city where you live, you might be shocked how much personal information is freely available online. This includes stuff like your phone number, address, relatives, property values, criminal records, estimated salary, and so much more. Step seven, hide your social media accounts. A good portion of our personal information that's floating around the internet is sadly the info that we voluntarily publish on platforms like Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, and others. The extreme version of this kind of privacy tip is to tell you to just delete your social media accounts. That takes a special kind of person, and if that's you, you know who you are. Step 8. Use a privacy-focused internet browser. When, when you are surfing the internet, go between using both Firefox and Brave. Uh, I, fig I configured Firefox in a way that I'm comfortable with, but the advantage of Brave is that it offers incredible privacy right out the box. Part of being invisible online is stopping services like Google, Facebook, and advertisers from following you all around the inter internet, right? Brave does that and as a result actually speeds up most websites since they don't have to load these trackers. Step 9 and the final step, try using a VPN or Tor. Last but not least, another great way to make yourself invisible online is to use virtual private networks or a Tor connection. Now fundamentally, these are two different tools and I've explained the difference between a VPN and Tor, right? But the end result is that you are trying to cover your tracks as you browse the internet. A VPN, right, I use as a service like ExpressVN, uh, ExpressVPN can hide your IP address which reveals location data. A Tor connection, which there's one available within the Brave browser, hides your traffic by relaying it through multiple, server, uh, multiple servers around the globe. So uh, those are some steps that, I that was compiled together that I wanted to bring to your attention. Uh, please let me know your thoughts. Please hit the subscribe button. Please hit the notification bell. I love you. Stay safe. See you in the next video.